of Texas. Good morning to you. Yes, good morning. I wish I could talk to you for the whole hour on this. Um, America's system of government was made only for immoral and virtuous people. They have to fear something other than whoever their their president or governor is. They have to fear God. Um, we are a Christian nation. Uh, the Constitution was signed in the year of our Lord. By it was signed by everybody under that those words. Our uh, Declaration was 53 percent. 50, 54 of the guys that signed it were uh, Christians. One was a Catholic and one was a Jew. The great thing about America is our Constitution and that, that we have uh, states' rights. And every one of the states sort of had their own different denomination, and they were so passionate about it. You know, as, you know, they feared their God in that denomination. And the way we've gotten in America, we've gotten so tribalist that we've tried to force everybody to do the same thing, which is secular humanism. And that's just crippling America. I, I'm, and, sensing, I'm sensing frustration in your voice this morning. Well, I'm a little bit early. Uh, I, I don't, anyway, I, I'm very frustrated that we're being forced to pay taxes for an education system that's pulled the very reason for our success throughout history, uh, pulled God out of our children, or the Bible out of our children's education, because that's where all of our laws came from. There's a really great book called, it's a three volume set called God and Government by Gary DeMar, and it was written in the 1980s, and it's just so profound in the biblical uh, references of how our government was set up and why. I mean, it's <laughs> trying to run everything nationally and make everybody do the same thing is the wrong thing to do. Hey, Bob, th thanks. You, th oh, no, finish your point. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I don't know. If we get back to states' rights, and governing ourselves first, and then our families, and then our community, and then our cities, and then our states, and then everything that, that we, we can't handle more locally, it's handled on a federal level, like defense, and treaties, and coining money, and that kind of stuff. Anyway, if we just get back to original intent, we'd be so much happier, and there would be a whole lot fewer scoundrels that are buying for positions of power in a national government. Hey, Bob, thanks for adding your voice. Uh, happy Easter to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you. And this from another